he has asked a group to come, and I, I, I they've not yet made it. Have you? Uh, what? Uh, just got a text. Just a text. It's, it's okay. Go ahead. Keep talking. You're fine. <laughs> Keep talking. You know, and this is a this is a limited amount of time that we have for this. Uh, it's. Want me to read it to you? Yeah. What does it say? Guys, it, it says, "Can't come till midnight." Weather. We're not going to sing until midnight. L -O -L. That's just it off. says LOL, so it's got to be open. Uh, Come here. Gail, I told you when I had to bring Mark into this, we were going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mark. He's not going to protect you. <laughs> what, what are we going to do? What do, you, what do you mean we could do it? You, I'm old. Well, you are. You guys want to see a skit, don't you? Yeah! This is a full play. No, oh, I thought you said full play, and it was. It was a very full play. But yeah, we're, but we're good. We're good. All right, all right. I'm good. I'm Look, good. Get this stuff ready. They have some of the props. Get this stuff ready. All right, this is, uh, oh, for Pete's sake. This is, all of you, the loved play of all time Christmas story. And a Christmas carol. It was one of those two. And we're going to, uh, do that, I guess, at this point, we have only two characters, so uh, it's going to be a challenge for us, but I think, uh, in light of the fact that this is a power, okay, we're going to go. Now, I want to let you know that because of this, uh, you're going to be the, uh, you're going to be the narrator, okay, and you're going to start off, okay, Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. The, the, I get to the, be. The, you you wait, start off, look, on. you're dead and you're going to be dead soon. So just get back and get ready to be <laughs> Jacob Marley. This is 1840. It's London. It's cold. It's been a tough winter. But it's Christmas Eve. And of course, as you know, our good old Ebenezer Scrooge is not having a good time. But we get to have the story of the impact of Christmas on a very special night. <laughs> that, is, that isn't Bob Marley, it's Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. I read! That's the wrong play, for Pete's sake. Put that for <laughs> okay, I was going for the Jamaican, but I guess I'm I'm Jacob Marley. Was his brother? <laughs> They're both dead. <laughs> well, once upon a time, in a land far, far away, known as Newark. I mean London, London, London. Our our hero. So I call him Hero, Hero, yeah. Yeah. Ebenezer, which is a great name, and you all should think about that name for your children, was in his apartment, or rather in his office. What you need to understand, and really it's important that you understand it, is that I, Bob, uh, Jacob Marley, am dead. If you don't get that part, nothing good can happen here. I'm dead. I fear that there may be more truth in that than perhaps allowable at this point, but I'm dead. Got that? Yeah. Yeah. Sitting in his office doing his ledgers and his bank books like he always does, Ebenezer Scrooge is working, as usual, on Christmas Eve. When the actor who plays 
Bob Cratchit comes in. I can't believe it's Christmas. Another day wasted. Tomorrow could be a business day, a business day. Banks are closed. I can't believe it. They came to me, they want money, and of course, Cratchit is going to be in here soon. He's going to want to leave. And they'll make me pay for another... Hello, sir! Merry Christmas to you, sir. Cratchit? Yes, sir? What are you doing? Uh, fire's gone cold, Mr. Scrooge. I'm, uh... Cratchit, that's why we wear jackets in here. You see, when you wear jackets, you don't need to put coal in. Coal costs money. What? Jackets are free. You take them on when it's, you put them on when it's cold. You take them off when it's hot. I've got a shawl. That's all you need. <laughs> right. Um, well, tomorrow's Christmas, sir. I suppose you're going to want to have the day off. <laughs> yes. 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 I'd like the day. And I suppose you want to be paid for it as well. If it's quite convenient, sir, yes, please. Sir. <laughs> I have had nothing but people come here today. The pastor came here. The pastor came here and he asked for money for the urchins that are out there on the street. There's urchins in the street. There are urchins on the street. They're running around. If only they would work. They would find a way to make it work. But instead, they come to me. My goodness, with a surplus of people we have in London, they might as well just die. If they die... Then we would have room in London. It's only once a year, sir. Once a year? Once a year. Once a year. Right. Well, I am telling you, I am sick and tired. Bah! Humbug! But here is your money. Take your money. Thank you, sir, very much. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas to you. Good night, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention that I was dead? Yes. Right. This must be distinctly understood or nothing wonderful can come from the tale I am going to tell. Scrooge finished up in his counting house as he always does. And he can't no, you're Scrooge still. You're the wrong person. You're Scrooge still. You're going to your apartment now. I'm going to visit you in your apartment. I'm not Cratchit. going to visit you. You're Cratchit. Right! <laughs> so <laughs> Scrooge went home. But Bob Cratchit did too. And he went home to his lovely wife, Emily. So we call her. And you'll see what happens. Anon. <laughs> Where is that Pratchett? <laughs> oh, it's been a tough day. Bad hair day. He told me that in 
I'm afraid he's getting weaker. I just see it in him. What are we going to do if something happens to him? I, don't, I pray for his help. I don't know, my dear. I, it's Christmas time. I've got a job. Let's celebrate. Let's just be a family together, and we'll try oh, that. We're blessed by a good family. We are, my love. love. <laughs> <laughs> so bless it. Thank you. We must, we must make this work, and I am sure we will. But right now, it is time. Uh, what are we going to do for a meal? I've got a goose. You it's a, a, a small goose, but it's a goose, and we'll eat that, and Tim loves goose. And we will make it you can the make best it. Christmas ever. You, it could be his last Christmas. My love, don't talk that way. It's Christmas oh, time. We hope that something will happen. Right. I'll go and get the goose. And I'll go and change again. I might be going to the <laughs>
possibly have ghosts that visit me? I do not need, I do have no chains. I will start to sleep. Because 
You need to see what you're missing right now. Oh, take me. Take me, ghost. Wait, let me put my robe on. I think you me. need the robe. <laughs>
It is a crutched house. There is an empty chair. Is Tiny Tim dead? Tiny Tim died? Are you telling me these things that may happen, or are you telling me things that must happen? Is this his, your will, or can we change that? It is a... Well, that is my bank. I, I went there today. I see some of the people. They're talking about somebody who died. They're irreverent. They're mocking him. How rude of them. I cannot... But, ah, they have items. They, those look like my items. If I were, if they were mine, I would call the magistrate. I would take them to jail for taking those. I cannot believe you're making stick figures of your head. And what's... What, I totally forgot what that is. Oh, yes. We are now in the graveyard. I do not want to go here. It is dark. Wait. Moss is covering that stone. I am afraid to look. I am afraid. But I will look. Oh, don't with that. Oh, it is I. That is my stone. Is this my will? Is this where I will be? How many years will this be? Is there anything I can do to change this future? Is it possible? I will, I will hold Christmas dear. I will give to the poor. I will help Cratchit. He deserves a raise. I will do all those things. Give me a chance to make a difference. Oh, what has happened? Do you think when I go to sleep, I will wake up and I will be given another chance? Do you think I will have another chance? No! <laughs> you, you must say yes! Yes! You want me to be given another chance? Yes! Not the story! So I will go to sleep next oh, I am very tired. Oh. 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 What? It is Christmas morning! And there is Bob Cratchit! Yeah. 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 I am alive! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I am so excited! I am so excited! I, I want you to know about Cratchit! I am this is Christmas! Come, come! Uh, well, Merry, Christmas, Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas! No, Bob! Merry, I, I want you to know that I think you made a mistake when you took your wages. I don't get to believe I did, sir. I, I gave my took a game. You did! It is clear! You made a mistake because I'm doubling your salary! Cratchit! You have worked so hard, I should have seen it. You are a fine worker. And I, from now on, I will honor that as a raise that I am giving you. And you see, you see Tiny Tim. I will treat him as though he is... Well, he's over there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And he, parents, she's very nice. That's my daughter. My daughter. Not her mind. Forget you. But I want you to know that from now on, he will be as if he is mine. I will give him the best doctors, and we will heal him because he is a wonderful boy, a spiritual boy. And I want you to know I am proud of the family that you have done. Ah, one more thing. I have arranged no goose today for you. I know it is a beautifully cooked goose. And Emily, oh, Emily, <laughs> what a shocking wife you have. <laughs> but inside, she's a beautiful woman. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> really, beauty is open. So I want you to know that we are arranging to have a turkey that is being sent to you right now. You don't want one for turkey. I did not call her a turkey. <laughs> oh, 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 get your stories mixed up. Now, I am going to my nephew. Because I'm going to surprise him. Oh, cool. I am going to let him know that I'm going to be part of this family as well. And I want you to know, from this day forward, I will honor Christmas every day. Scrooge was better than his word. He became as good a man, as good a master, as good a gentleman as the old city ever knew. And that, as they say, is the end of the story. And so, as Tiny Tim observed at least in an apocryphal sense. <laughs> God bless us, everyone.